Shalom, people. This is Brother Laos coming at you with another video. And I want to talk about um, an angle about this Kyrie Urban thing that some people have not. Uh, or maybe some people have mentioned it. I haven't seen it because I I haven't watched tons and tons of, of, of videos on, or, on this. Because I've seen these kinds of things in the past before not dealing so much with this subject of Kyrie saying stuff that the powers that be don't like him to say, but I've seen uh, players say different things that was off the cuff and or do, do certain things off the cuff and it was a firestorm and, you know, there were consequences. The the uh the the I'm looking at this whole Kyrie Irving thing somewhat of the same way I was look I was stating about Kanye West and his contract with Adidas that uh believing that the only way he could get a better negotiation was to you know maybe say some you know things uh out there and let them know his displeasure on drink champ. But that maybe he also said, well, in his mind, this, this is not going to probably work. I just need to break the contract with them. And what's the best way that I can break that contract with them is to maybe say some the controversial statements that, at least in the eyes of some, make uh, controversial statements that will force their hand to drop me. And that's what happened. And I look at Kyrie Irving and what a lot of people have been following. I don't know why they just they didn't they they, they haven't been uh, going back to this. Is that Kyrie Irving was trying to get um, a, 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 a new contract that he was going to get wanted to get he had demands and that a lot of people were saying this is hilarious what he's stating that he wants he's not going to get that. Because look what he did when the CV-19 came out. No, he's not going to get anything. Not to mention his contract with Nike was coming up. And it, and it was stating that it was also a possibility that Nike was not going to give him a lengthy contract for his shoe. So, and I'm just saying, this is just my thoughts on the whole thing. Right? Because I'm looking at it at another angle. That if he said to himself, Kyrie, it's unlikely that I'm going to get what I want with the Nets. And maybe I'm not going to be able to um, get another team to be interested in me in order to get what I'm going to get. But if I if the Nets don't extend my contract and no other team is going to take me, I'm going to be stuck here on this team that I really don't want to be on because they didn't give me what I wanted. And so how can I possibly get out of my contract with them just to give myself maybe a, a, a break, a breather or whatever that possibly he might have said to himself, let me say some, or not say, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do what uh, um, Kanye did. I'm not going to do that. But I will, I will put a link to a controversial movie that maybe they'll look at it and they'll just, you know, maybe, you know, suspend me or do something and make it where they say, I'm not going to renew your contract. And then another team just pick me up because I make an apology and I know they'll accept my apology. And maybe it didn't work out the way that he wanted. But I, but we can say this, if that was his thought, even though it might have not worked out the way he wanted it to, he still, if he decides not to do the protocol that the, 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 the powers that be want him to go do, that the Nets would just drop him and drop his contract and Nike would drop him and drop his contract, that even though... Yeah, he, he 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 and there's also been statements that he might retire. Either way, if he's if he's dropped or he retires, he's out of the contract with the Brooklyn Nets. He's lost his contract with the with Nike. So what 
he can do if he decides to retire or they drop him is to continue to work out, continue to do what you, you do. And I guarantee you, throughout the season, there are going to be some people that's going to slowly but surely forget what he said. I'm already seeing different reports by other other powers that be people because remember they play the Hegelian dialectic, right? They have the 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 one on this side that talks and says, "Hey, you can't talk like that." And then there you have the other one on the other side that says free speech. I'm already seeing this free speech amongst them standing up and say there was nothing bad about this movie that he did. So they're setting it up that, yeah, okay, he, he retires. He said he retires from the NBA or whatever. Or they kick him out. He don't have a contract or whatever, but he goes around playing basketball. He goes around doing the, the Goodwill tour showing I didn't have no ill intent or whatever. Um, and that's just say maybe right before the All-Star break or maybe after the All-Star break, some team look at Irvin and say, yeah, he's been working out. This guy is still lethal. He's still good. Maybe he's learned his lesson from all this. That's bring him in at a contract at least. We'll say, they'll say, look, Kyrie, we'll give you half of what you was going to ask. That's the, that, that's, you would be grateful for that. And we'll, we'll look at things, seeing how you lead, either lead this team into a strong playoff position or lead us to an NBA uh, a, a, a title series or make us look good. And maybe we'll look at renewing. But I'm, I'm telling you, I can, I'm seeing something like this happening because, like I said, and I can remember all the analysts, especially Stephen A. Smith. And I know people say, well, forget Stephen A. Smith. But you got to admit that he is right there in the forefront. And he was saying, I wouldn't give Kyrie anything, right? You know, I wouldn't give him no no extension and that the Nets shouldn't pick him up. But the Nets, obviously, we were going to probably try to pick him back up. But a, le a le lot less money than what he had. I believe, like I said, that if they let him go... Uh, and or he retires, I believe that's what's gonna happen. He's gonna shoot around and everything, and and they're gonna somebody's gonna pick him up. Somebody's gonna pick him up. I believe he'll get another shoe company to pick him up. That's gonna have a peop a person within their company say we are believers in free speech, and also we don't think that Kyrie Irving said anything bad. Now of course we're not gonna give you as big of a contract as you had with Nike, but we will give you a contract. And if you prove yourself that you have been redeemed by your, your actions, we might give you a little bit more. And Kyrie will go on about his life, and he won't say nothing else about this Hebrew Israelite thing for all you out there that think he is your hero that's going to lead you into the promised land. I'm telling you, I believe this is what's going to happen, and I believe that's why he did what he did. That He said, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say the things that Kanye said, but I'm going to put this, this link of this movie out that I know how they're going to react. And maybe, the, like I said, the Nets drop me. I'll make apology and somebody pick me up. But it, that part of the plan didn't work. These men are businessmen. They're very smart. Kyrie Irving had a, a, over a $100 million contract. He, You don't get a $100 million contract by being an idiot. He didn't just like naively... Uh, looked at that movie and not thought in his mind that they was going to do that. I believe that he did that because the contract negotiations was not going the way he wanted. He did, he wasn't going to try to stay in, with the Brooklyn Nets at a paltry amount. But he also knew that it probably wasn't going to be no team that was going to pick him up for what he wanted. But his plan didn't quite work out the way he wanted it because they said no. No, you we 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 going we going we 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 dropping the ball on you. Not just us, but the whole NBA and these these people. Cause he and he he understands too that if he goes through the protocol and he came back to the Nets, he definitely wasn't going to get what he wanted. 
So it's probably more profitable for him to say, I'm going to retire and let another team come and pick him back up, even though he's going to get less money. But if he comes back to the other team, and after let's say before the All-Star break or after the All-Star break or whatever, and he plays and performs and never says nothing else about, and people come up to him and say something about the movie, and he said, what movie? I don't know what movie you're talking about. All, all well to end well. They won't say nothing else, and he'll keep playing basketball. I believe, Con, Con, I, I believe Kanye West saying the same thing. I believe that there's gonna be some people that are gonna come out and 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 and, and vouch for him. And within a couple of months or whatever, he might not become a billionaire right away. He might not never become a billionaire again. And 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 to be honest, did he have liquid assets? Uh, of a billion or was his merchandise and all his stuff together made him a billionaire. See, that's the di difference. If the man has $400 million liquid assets, he is still doing good. And I believe that, that Kanye will get another company or somebody to pick him back up. I do believe that because he generated $250 million. And one thing, like I said, about them and the Hegelian dialect, that they have the one side of them that will try to, yeah, crush you. But then they got the other side that will try to squeeze you and squeeze that profitability out of that, too. So you got to look at that. And I believe, like I said, maybe Kanye. And this is my belief. I ain't saying that, that that's so. But I'm looking at it. What, what was what was preceding all of this stuff that they said? Cause they have, to, they have both had to know what the firestorm was going to be. But proceeding, like I said, what they said, I believe a lot of this had to do with the contracts that they was in, what they was looking at, you know, and how they was going to get it, get out of it. They rolled the dice and said, maybe I can get off with just the apology, and then you know I can move on, and then somebody else can pick me up right away. But I don't think they was planning on these this happening. But that, like I said, they still in a few months, or maybe even as much as a year, which is they still they gonna be okay. They got enough money to survive, even if it goes on for a year. They still, I believe, later on, there's gonna be some people that's gonna come looking for them. So they're gonna be all right. But what I want to say to our people again that are. Uh, putting their hopes and trust in these people getting up and being a mouthpiece for some religious movement. It's not going to happen. Their, their stance and whatever that they was doing, I believe in my heart had to do with the contracts and the money and stuff and situations that they was facing. That's what I believe. Did they definitely have a courageous stance or, or Kyrie have a courageous stance and what he 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 did. Oh, most definitely. But don't think for one moment that it also did not have anything to do with a, a business move that he was trying to make because he knew he was not going to get out of the Nets what he wanted or he wasn't going to get out of Nike what he wanted. So it, it, it made it easy for them to drop him, whereas... It, 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 it could have been a soft landing. It was a hard landing instead. But he can still, both of them, Kanye and Kyrie, both can get back up off of it. But what we are the, the believers of the Most High, yeah, we must depend on the Holy Spirit to get the message out. That's what we must uh, 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 trust and depend on the Holy Spirit. The way that I came into the understanding of the stuff that, you know, I, I, I know about, you know, we, we being the people and everything was purely by the Holy Spirit. It was not no, uh, in fact, the guy that, um, the, the video that I had looked at years ago, first time, uh, I think they called the guy drop, uh, jump, drop back, jump back, Jacob or whatever. I don't even know the guy's name. When I first looked at the video, I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was a joke. But as I thought about it, I heard a voice in my head, go back and research what he said, some of the stuff that he said. And as I kept reading and reading, the Holy Spirit started illuminating my eyes that, yeah, 
The stuff that he's saying is true. But this guy was not no famous guy. In fact, he's not even... Some of his videos are still on uh, YouTube, but he's himself, I don't even think he is in the, the, the thing of the Hebrew Israelite himself anymore. So that just proves to you right there that it's a move of the spirit, that we can't wait for these celebrities. Well, because uh, they they look at the tea leaves, they look at situations and stuff that's going on and, and understand what's the course of this thing, right? Uh, you know, um, you know, I I want I want I want I I want uh my people to continue to support me. So if I give I definitely give them a bone. I can kill two birds with one, one stone. I can get from up underneath this contract. I can galvanize my base of people that was thinking, well, you know, Kanye, he kind of Kyrie is kind of shaky or whatever. Kanye is kind of shaky, but look, they stood up against the powers to be. Let's get behind them and and, and support them. How how solidified were some people behind uh, Kanye? They started GoFundMe sites to try to make him a billionaire again until GoFundMe took him down. So don't, they're not businessmen for nothing. I'm telling you. And most of their advisors were those people. Some of their spokespeople that put their stuff out there was those same people, right? So those same people had to know their leanings and their thoughts and whatever, and they still were. Now, of course, yeah, Kanye did have two lawyers that 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 uh, left him or whatever. But I'm telling you, don't be shocked again when both of them, you know, start coming back up. And it ain't going to be no mention of none of this stuff. It's the same way with, with Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, they don't even mention him about him. Uh, except, you know, they, of course, they mention it now, but I'm saying to him, he still got an open door access because he, he came back. Now, he went through the protocols and stuff, right? He he went through the protocol. As for Kanye and Kyrie, I don't know if they going to be willing to go through the protocols, but even if they don't go through the protocols, they generate so much money, I do believe they're going to be back on the scene. So that's just my thoughts on it. I could be wrong, but that's my opinion. I do believe that it's, it, it, it had a lot to do, yes, that they did stand up to the powers that be, but it also, I believe, was a business move. So with that, I'm gonna ask you to uh, 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 leave a comment on this video. I want you to give it a thumbs up, and I want you to subscribe. Be blessed.